गुड मॉर्निंग चिल्ड्रन वेलकम बैक आफ्टर योर फर्स्ट टर्म एग्जामिनेशन नाउ दिस सिलेबस वी आर गोइंग टू स्टार्ट फॉर द सेकेंड टर्म एग्जामिनेशन सो ऑलरेडी चिल्ड्रन वी हैव डन चैप्टर नंबर वन टू थ्री एंड फोर सो टूडे वी आर गोइंग टू स्टार्ट द चैप्टर चैप्टर नंबर फाइव द नेम ऑफ द चैप्टर इज रेस्पिरेटरी सिस्टम सो रेस्पिरेटरी सिस्टम respiratory system is children as we know we respire we take the oxygen in and we give out the carbon dioxide so when we take the oxygen in and when we give the carbon dioxide out what we get inside our body if we are not i suppose if you hold your nose and you close your mouth for 1 minute are you able to do that activity just close your mouth and just uh, close your mouth also and don't respire don't breathe for 1 minute it is not possible for us to uh, stop our breathing even for a 1 minute so what is that when we are respiring what we do we we because our body requires energy our body requires energy for doing various activities as we do various activity we eat we respire the internal body processes are going on in our body just like uh, um, when we eat the food it goes to our small intestine large intestine to stomach and it comes out from the body and when we are talking when we are playing everything requires energy so this energy from where we are getting we are getting the energy from the food but still because we are breathing all the time we need oxygen also okay children so uh, as we need we uh, eat the food when we eat the food so what happen when we are uh, eating the food from the food we are getting energy that release of energy the process of releasing energy from food is called respiration the process of releasing energy from food is called respiration is it clear children so when we are taking the food it the food why we are eating the food because that food provides us energy so when the food is providing us energy that that uh, when the food gives us the energy when that food releases the energy that is called respiration the process of respiration it involves taking in oxygen into the cells using it for releasing energy by burning food and then it eliminates the waste product carbon dioxide and water from the body this energy is used by living things uh, now uh, there are two main processes first you understand that there are two main processes of respiration first is the breathing breathing is taking in oxygen from the air and releasing out carbon dioxide second is using oxygen in the cell of the organism and releasing energy from the food two processes are there now how we are going to explain these two processes uh what is because we are discussing about respiration so what we do children as in, it is given in your book also respiration so in respiration what we do we have the food in our body when we eat the food as well as that food it is giving us energy same way we take in oxygen and we gives out carbon dioxide that oxygen when we are taking it in that oxygen get mixed with the energy that is also a type of energy because without oxygen we can't survive so that food it is giving the energy that energy it is going to different parts of the body when we eat the food food gives us energy and that energy is going to different parts of the body now as i am telling you that oxygen also gives is going it is also getting giving us energy and this energy is also going to different parts of the body so what happens children uh, suppose this is a, a stomach okay now in this stomach we have the food 
the food is getting digested now in the small intestine the food it goes in the small intestine now from the small intestine many small blood vessels are there many small small blood vessels are there so when we are though so this time when the food goes into the small intestine it gives out the energy of the food it gives out the energy of the food and that energy get mixed with the oxygen so now energy and oxygen both are together and they pass with the help of blood to different parts of the body so this complete process involves respiration so respiration as i told you it involves it oxygen so when there is oxygen in respiration at that time that respiration is called aerobic respiration aerobic respiration when oxygen is present in some cases the respiration also occurs without oxygen at that time it is called anaerobic respiration anaerobic respiration means without oxygen very important what is respiration respiration is the process of re releasing energy from the food is called respiration and respiration is of two type one is aerobic respiration second is anaerobic respiration aerobic respiration it in it is called aerobic respiration because it occurs in the presence of oxygen anaerobic respiration it is called anaerobic anaerobic means without oxygen so both the processes occurs inside the body so same way in your book also they have explained the same thing that the process of respiration involve taking in oxygen into the cell and then releasing energy by burning of food then it the waste material it eliminates from the body in the form of carbon dioxide and water so and the it, it involves breathing as well as it involves the use of oxygen so uh, the food that we eat that food is glucose now in this food oxygen get mixed and both they involve together they work together and then they produce carbon dioxide water and energy so this complete process when there is a use of oxygen that process is called aerobic respiration on the second hand if we talk about the anaerobic respiration anaerobic respiration is only the food is present over here but no oxygen this is without oxygen so it will not give carbon it will give carbon dioxide it will give energy but the end product will be alcohol it will be alcohol and in this case it will be water so two differences we are studying now aerobic respiration it contains oxygen anaerobic respiration it is without oxygen and aerobic respiration the end product it is carbon dioxide water and energy and anaerobic respiration the waste the end product is alcohol carbon dioxide and energy so these are the two processes very important processes occurring in our body now the second question arises here as we know the air which we breathe in okay the air which we breathe in is transported to all the parts of the body and ultimately it reaches to each cell of the body in the cell oxygen brings about breakdown of glucose the process of breakdown of food in a cell of the body which releases with the release of energy is called respiration now from here you have got one more uh, definition of respiration the process of breakdown of food in a cell of a body with the release of energy is called respiration so two definition the process of the uh, this definition is the process of releasing energy from food is called respiration 
the second definition of resp respiration is the process of breakdown of food in a cell of a body with a release of energy is called respiration so as we are telling you that the oxygen it reaches to the cell the oxygen is reaching to the cell so that is why this respiration is also called cellular respiration okay process of respiration which releases energy from food takes place inside the cell of the body it is also called cellular respiration each as we know our body is made up of cell so each cell performs the function of respiration because the respiration is going on inside the cells of the body so that is why this respiration is also called cellular respiration is that clear children it takes place in the cell of the organism the process of respiration takes place partially in the cytoplasm and partially in the mitochondria of the cell now i am not going to explain these words again because already we had studied what is cytoplasm what is mitochondria in the chapter cell if you don't remember these terms just go to your chapter and see what are these terms so the process of respiration it takes place partially partially means half half of the process it going on inside the cytoplasm and a half of the process it goes go inside the mitochondria again we have discussed the type of respiration the type of respiration it is of two type first is the aerobic respiration second is the anaerobic respiration so aerobic respiration it occurs in the presence of oxygen anaerobic it it doesn't need oxygen aerobic respiration it uses air which contain oxygen aerobic means what does aerobic mean aerobic means with air and anaerobic means without air it is already given in your book it is without air and aerobic means with air so in this the glucose it break down into carbon dioxide water and energy and in case of anaerobic respiration the glucose break down into alcohol carbon dioxide and energy in aerobic respiration this food is completely breaking down in this the complete it completely break down it no other substances forming over over here this is a gas water and energy and all these water get removed from the body carbon dioxide get removed from the body energy is utilized by the body so there is no product left after aerobic respiration so we can say this is a complete breakdown of food and because this is the complete breakdown of food so that's why it releases a large amount of energy in case of anaerobic respiration as i told you the end product is alcohol alcohol is some substance that is left over so in that case because some substance is left over it also needs some energy to break down so in that case a less amount of energy is produced and product is alcohol carbon dioxide so here the food is not completely broken down in case of aerobic respiration the food is completely broken down but in case of anaerobic respiration the food is not completely broken down into uh, other substances it is still left so it gives a very less amount of energy uh, after that we have already given the differences in the book also what is aerobic respiration what is anaerobic respiration energy is produced by the breakdown of food energy is produced by the breakdown of food like glucose that are similar takes place in the presence of oxygen it takes place in the absence of oxygen complete breakdown of food occurs partial breakdown of food occurs the end product is carbon dioxide and water the end product is alcohol and carbon dioxide it produces considerable means a huge amount of energy and it produces very less amount of energy so in this uh, lecture today's lecture i have explained you what is respiration what are the type of respiration why the respiration is also called cellular respiration as well as the differences between aerobic respiration and anaerobic respiration and, uh, and children this equations the both the equations that is given in your book these equations both the equations you have to learn very important equations so this equation also you can write in the differences so please read your chapter carefully and whatever we are teaching you learn in learn it on the same day don't 
keep your work pending otherwise you will face the problem during your examination so read the chapter carefully ch uh, children i will give you the question answers of exercises after the completion of chapter so whatever we are teaching you now you can make your own notes thank you children